Alrighty, here we have Traumatarium being played on the Game Boy. Actually, it's being played on the Retron 5. That's the Game Boy ROM. <laughs> uh, courtesy of uh, Broke Studio, the publisher behind the physical cartridge. So this is a pretty cool dungeon crawler. Uh, so you start the game here. Uh, you start at the top center. You come in here, you can go to the inn and pay to stay to heal yourself. Uh, you can come to the shop to buy potions and bandages. You can come to the library to go ahead and uh, learn about items. You can go to the armory and you can purchase uh, things like a broadsword, battle axe, things like that. And then you've got the various dungeons you can go through. So you have the Faceless Lair, uh, you've got the Woodland Abyss, you have the uh, Immolator, I think is how you say that. <laughs> uh, the Watery Grave. So those are the different uh, chapters or areas you can explore. I'm going to go ahead and do the Faceless Slayer. The end of the Faceless Slayer. Okay, so essentially, um, this is a... <coughs> kind of like a choose your own adventure style game. You're given a choice with a scene. And you choose what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and drink. I feel refreshed. Okay, so I can go to room two. Seal bars block your way. Search. Find five gold. Cool. And three. Set you glowing with holy light. Um, sure, I'll pray. Why not? I feel refreshed. <laughs> Room four. A broken wall, ghostly howls ringing out. Search it. Find food and bandages. Cool. Room five. A skeleton blocks the doorway. I'll check it. You find a small dagger. Cool. Room six. A dark tunnel filled with rattling bones. Search it. A monster attacks. And here is your very basic battle system. You have A to fight, B for your item. I'm going to go ahead and fight. Monster HP is up there, and then your HP is in the lower left. Or your health, rather. You find me. Just cool, awesome. Okay, room seven. A low ceiling tunnel with crumbling walls. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, can I, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do some bandages to bring my health back up. And I search it, a monster attacks, good thing I did my health, got my health back up. So we got a goblin, we got a fight. Oh, that's a pretty easy fight, wow. Two hits, he's dead, I made a strange woman blocks her way. Uh, I'll talk to her. I feel refreshed. Well, I didn't need to use those bandages, apparently. <laughs> Room 9. A dimly lit armory, long forgotten and empty. Search it. Food and bandages. Cool. Final room. And here's the boss fight. Now the bosses you're gonna fight um, are random, which is kind of cool. So regardless of where you go, it's gonna be random, which is neat. And the fights are pretty straightforward. You just gotta keep your health up. The bandages are going to go ahead and provide more health. Um, uh, regeneration than food is. Which is why I'm using bandages instead of food. Okay, and then I'm going to use another item. Okay, I'm going to use another bandage again here. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to survive this. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Nope, 
you got me. You died. <clears throat> and they start the game over again. So this is actually a pretty cool uh, dungeon crawler, if I must be honest. It's a great game for the Game Boy. Uh, game Boy, Game Boy Color. Uh, um, excuse me, Game Boy. So it's available on current platforms currently on Switch. Uh, if you buy the Switch version, you get an emulated Game Boy style um, way to play, which is kind of cool. You also choose to play it in full color, as well as some additional palette options, which is nice. With the, um, with the Game Boy release, even on color, it is strictly a Game Boy, uh, Game Boy original game. But, this game's awesome. Um, definitely recommend it if you're a fan of, of Dungeon Crawlers. Pick this game up. Totally worth it. And uh, I want to thank Brooke Studio for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.